The announcements tool in Canvas can be accessed uh, in the course menu over here, or like I said previously, you can also just click on new announcement on the home page, the button over to the right. Both will do the same thing. If we go to announcements though, we'll, we'll, we will see a list of announcements that you've created through your class. If you have not created any announcements in your class yet, the only thing that will show up is this big green button. So to create a new announcement, I'm going to go ahead and click that green button. And here you're going to have access to the standard visual text box editor that comes along with pretty much everything else in Canvas where you can uh, edit your text. I'll be going over the details of this visual text box editor and how to use it in module two, which is communication. But just as a quick introduction to announcements, you have to have a title for your announcement. And then here you can type in the contents of your announcement. You can choose a file if you want to attach a file to this announcement. One thing that Canvas does differently than most of its competitors when it, when it comes to announcements is that it allows students to reply to your announcement. Um, you can turn that off in the settings of your course, uh, but by default that's on. And so anytime you submit an announcement, a student can respond to it. So it's a good idea to always kind of keep an eye on your announcements. In the days of Blackboard, a lot of instructors used announcements to deliver their course content, which is not really uh, a best or standard practice in online instruction. I would highly suggest using announcements not necessarily to provide students access to your course content, but more to just share stuff with them. For an on-campus course, for instance, uh, if you're sick and can't make it to class, an announcement would be a great way to, um, to notify students. Uh, for an online course, it might be a good idea to share YouTube clips that you find that are interesting or pertinent to your course with students. An easy way to do that is in the contents of your announcement, you can click on the YouTube button at the top and you can just do a search for any YouTube um, video that you think is important. And then all you have to do when you find the one that you want is embed that. And now you have a video that's part of your announcement. Other options here in the announcement is you can delay posting. So you could tell Canvas that you only want it to post at a specific time. And there are a few other options that I'm not going to go over in this demo. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. And here's my announcement that students can respond to if they like. You'll see now that I have created my first announcement that the announcements page turns into a list of announcements. And they'll continue to stack down the page.